every manifestation of wickedness, exchanging the glory of anyone here, so that where you should be, another is taking your place. I command that spirit to give way right now in the name of Jesus. I command that spirit to give way in the name of Jesus. These chains that I see on people's feet, it's time to release them right now. You've been at the same position for many years. The only thing growing in your life is your age. Nothing more is growing. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over it. I take authority over it. Right now, in the name of Jesus, ah, something is already happening here. At the count of three, I want to stretch my hands. And I see that grace, my God, like, like an inferno. That grace will shift you and give you such speed in your life. At the count of three, one, two, get ready now. Three, take the grace for speed. Take that grace now. I release that grace. Speed, help them. Help them. Speed. That you will run like Elijah and overtake the chariots of Ahab. Those in ministry, receive speed. Help them, help them, help them. Grace. Speed. 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 I prophesy. I decree and declare. Please help this man. Help that man. Help that man. Help that man. Please. I speak speed. I command it in your life, in your destiny, in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. I'm seeing a grace. A strange grace for visions, visions and encounters. And I'm seeing a number 43. 43 people in this congregation. Where are they, oh God? I stretch my hands now. I release you into a prophetic realm of strange visions. Receive that grace now. Now, now. Receive that grace now. I was by the river Sheba. Then I saw the visions of God. I prophesy, I decree and declare. Step into that dimension. Visions, visions by the Spirit. Visions by the Spirit. I'm seeing a wind blowing. There is a grace for intercession that is resting on people in this place right now. From the front to the back is a strange way. May that grace come upon you now. A quickening. I'm seeing people, there's, there's just a wind and I'm seeing fire resting on people. It's an ignition. Even at the overflow outside, I'm seeing at the overflow, Shalantas Kabaratosia, Shatabradega de Balakatos, Sabrande Gabarus, the Sede Balata. You will never be the same, immersed in His glory. Rakatos, Sadela, Sabanda, Shalakos, Sadahas Kabatiata. When He comes, you will know He's here. What do you do, sir? This man. You. Yes. Real estate. Because I am seeing there is a breakthrough. December. This December. I don't know you from anywhere. And I fear God. You've been trying to do something that has not worked. Is that true? You have tried. You've been disappointed. This is three times. One, two, three. This is what the Lord is revealing to me. But here at this conference, I bring you the rod of a higher priesthood. That in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, and by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I shift you into that possibility. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Please, wherever you are in one minute, 
open your mouth and make demand of something that must come upon your life in this conference. The grace for intercession, intercession, intercession. I'm hearing in my spirit, I'm restoring. I'm restoring. I'm restoring. This is what God is saying. You have lost time. You have lost things. I come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood. Help them, please. Restoring families. Parush Tadada Tatiala. Receiving restorations. In the name of Jesus. Please help that woman. Makantas Kabaratos Kabres Kabariata. Just bask in that glory for a minute or two. The Lord is bringing you restoration by the Spirit of the Living God. I don't know who this man is. My friend, look at me. Lift your hands. I see an anointing coming upon you. The Lord is restoring everything you've lost. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ, restoring everything that was lost restoring everything that was lost there's a lady in the choir the lord is bringing your family this year will not end before you see this restoration there is an anointing that is coming on you this is what the spirit of the lord is saying It doesn't take God alone. It takes God and yielded men. The power of God is coming on one of you. And I'm seeing what looks like a chain breaking. Because Jesus is in the midst of his people. I tell you the grace of God is mighty and strong in this place. Please just coordinate them. Just walk with the ushers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. There is a name that is above every other name. Bring her. The Lord says concerning your family, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. For behold, I do a new thing. Behold, I do a new thing. Let the voice of lamentation come to end in your family. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Did the Bible not say when you come on to Mount Zion, there are in an innumerable company of angels? It says, therein is also the spirit of just men made perfect. Jesus himself, the first begotten. What can you do, Jesus? You are a... In the name of Jesus, for those of you who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, I stand in faith with your pastor and I prophesy to you, in the name that is above all names, according to the time of life, return with miracles. Believe it, I'm not motivating you. Listen, listen, it is seen, it is seen to make bold proclamations that you do not have the grace to support it the bible says that everyone should minister according to the measure of grace in the name that is above all names again by jesus the head of the church we decree and declare in the name that is above all names barrenness of all sorts 
be gone now and forever be gone now and forever in the name of Jesus let me pray for you tonight in the name of Jesus standing in agreement with the grace upon your pastor I speak over your life that which has remained in your life as a challenge tonight in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God I declare that it lives your life now and forever help those under the anointing there every door that has refused to open please hear me in the name of Jesus I speak to that door a father be open be open be open my God please help them be open hear me whatever should have entered your hand and by whatever means has refused to come in the name that is above all names I compel them into your hands now tonight in the name of Jesus a supernatural quickening upon your mind receive that grace in the name of Jesus that as you sleep tonight we activate visions and dreams revealing the matters of destiny in the name of Jesus Christ and can I speak over someone's life that before the sun rises tomorrow you would have returned with a fearful testimony I say this from the depth of my spirit every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it the Bible says as they went the leper found out he had been cleansed as you go tonight I speak to you in the name of Jesus Christ and by the ministry of angels strange testimonies strange encounters for some of you your prayer life that is dead or dying tonight fresh fire upon your prayer altar hallelujah praise the Lord Please, I want you to agree with me. Every proclamation that will come, receive it by faith, believe it, and shout a loud amen as proof that you believe it. Are we together? In the name of Jesus Christ. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. Pray for your spiritual life. The kind of encounter that you have not had from January till now. Strange encounters, revelations of heaven. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then who could ever And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, wall that stands before you and the next dimension I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho I command every wall go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus
Jesus. And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to, the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter, I compel favor from them to you. I compel favor from them to you. In the name of Jesus. There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. He says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous, not more faithful more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which God has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you there are many men of God the eyes that can discern and lift you is not there let me pray for you there is a grace for honor therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows I pray for you in the name of Jesus may the mantle that makes for honor territorial honor honor at a national level in the name of Jesus receive Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. Listen, it's a way to fight battles without reward. David said, what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath? Sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward. I pray for you. May the Lord position your destiny helpers and cause them to love you and to honor you. me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still our year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning. Leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you before this year is over step into a dimension of prepared blessing prepared blessing prepared parush kalata I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing listen Believers, I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life, may that grace rest upon you now. Pre 
prepared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month, I release that grace upon you. Listen. These graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No. They are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning, the sound of pain and anguish by the Spirit of the living God, let it come to an end this night. Everything that has refused to work in your life by the power of the highest, I compel it to begin to work now. Men you do not know, may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ. pray for you. The presence of God, the weightiness, the substance of his presence that must rest upon you, especially if you are in ministry, by the power of the Holy Ghost, be a career of divine presence. In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough, we call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me, whoever ignores you will pay for it. Hear me, any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. ministry here, under the sound of my voice, the grace and the wings of the Spirit that will take you to dimensions untold, may that grace rest upon you. I pray for every man and every woman of God here, the errands and the horse that will hold your hands, loyal men indeed, may God give them to you. Anyone here who the testimony over your life is decoupled, I declare by the Spirit of God, a restoration happens now. Thou shalt not be afraid of the snare of the fowler, nor the noisome pestilence, nor the destruction that wasted in noonday. First a thousand shall fall by your side, and ten thousand by your right side. It says, none shall hurt you, but with your eyes shall you behold, and see the reward of the wicked. I pray for you, as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler, may you escape from every evil. May you escape from every trap. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak over your life. Go from glory to glory. The remaining weeks of this year, I'm speaking to you. May they be weeks of strange wonders. Things speak over your prayer life, over your word study life. Whatever has stolen your joy, whatever has stolen your fire, whatever has stolen your passion, whatever has stolen your focus, in the name of Jesus, by fire, let it be restored tonight. May the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life. May you be a wonder first to yourself, and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you. 
in the name of Jesus. Anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death, to see to it that you will not finish this year well, to see to it that it will not be well with you and your family. Jehazi came and met the woman and said, it's all well. It's all well with your household. I pray for you. Because the Bible says, to say to the righteous, it shall be well. Therefore, I speak over you, it is well. I declare over you, all is well. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to receive every prophetic word. Because the creative power of God is going to swing into motion. The creative and prophetic power. Doors of delay. I command you. Be open in the name of us. Delay. Be gone. Delay. Be gone. Delay. Delay in marriage. Delay in jobs. I cause it to his root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage, every academic bondage, Pateka Lekosopa, Repete Latu Sabadi Adata. In the name of Jesus, be free. Be free. Be free. Mental blockage. Be free from it. Academic bondage. I set you free. This is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesy by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold. Sevenfold. Not one fold. Not two fold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized, any student here who has been victimized right now, whether it is project or service here or whatever, I change it in the realm of the spirit. Any one of your loved ones that has no job, I command their food to supernatural joy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every womb called Barry. I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not. Right now. In nine months time. You will celebrate miracle children. Be open. Every barren womb. Be open. Hallelujah. Every plague of death over your life or your family members. Make sure you are lifting your hands up. Every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things. Because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families. I see miscarriage of children. Every plague of death, I command it to pass over you forever. In the name of Jesus. He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above 
I call you in the realm of the spirit. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up. A new level of prosperity. A new level of lifting. A new level of wisdom. And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. As surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, let a cloak of favor sweep you where you are. Favor! 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 Every terminal disease in this place, HIV, cancer, in the name of Jesus, we terminate it once and for all. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. SS. AS, we change your genotype in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus. Every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight, it is time for the new anointing. Cut up your loins and be ready. Every yoke of bondage surely must be broken. I command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Captivity ends in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm standing in the spirit before a gate. And the Lord is telling me, let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life. I command you, by the spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me, move forward. Go forward. No more stagnation in ministry. Enter your place of anointing. Enter your place of rest. Enter it. I place you inside it. I take you into the mantle of your life. The prophetic oil of your life. I release it. Move forward. Go forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak to you. Every Egyptian you see today. You are the one who knows the Egyptian. So lift your hands with faith in your spirit. Everything called an Egyptian. As surely as the Lord God of Israel is. Once and for all. Bye bye to them forever. Bye bye to them forever. In your family. Bye bye to them. Bye bye to them. I release signs, wonders. I release miracles. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. From the depth of my heart, according to the order of grace, we take your miracle. Take your miracle. Take your miracle. Everything your hand touches from today in the name that is above all names, I command it to multiply. This is what I'm demonstrating to you what I saw in the spirit that God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life. 
May the Lord take you where your gift will be needed. May the Lord take you where your gift. I command demand upon your oil. Demand. Prophetic demand. I command every uncompleted family project, every uncompleted family project, the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit. And I pray that between now and the next 21 days, I command angels of help. I release it to your family. Receive it. Receive it. Help. Help is coming. Zion, help. The helper of Zion. Move across families. Move across families. I tell you as surely as the Lord lives between today and the next 21 days you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God hallelujah lift your hands I impart spiritual gifts upon you at the count of seven let fresh fire fall upon everybody. Every one, two, three. My God, do it. I see angels. Four, five, six. There it is. Come on. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Outside. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. Fire. The prophetic. The apostolic. The evangelistic. Teaching mantle. Pastoral grace, leadership, entrepreneurship, I fire it into your spirit. Everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes to you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. In the name of the Lord Jesus, doors be open. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. You just receive it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it, breakthrough. An angel stands in this row. Take it, breakthrough. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Right to the back. Take it, take it. Are we together? It's a very serious prayer we're going to pray now. You're going to pray that if by any means there is any spirit entity in my life or around me, it's time for you to come out, it's time for you to go. Listen, as you pray this prayer, many strange things will start happening to you. Don't worry about it. You just focus on this prayer and pray with all your heart and watch what happens. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the authority 
of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the Lord I cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray Pray, fire is falling. Pray, fire is falling. I cast every spirit. I cast every devil. I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. My mind, my body, around my life, around Koinonia, in the name of Jesus, around my family. If you are married, also pray for your family. Pray for your children. I cast every devil. in the form of a man and attempts to oppress you in the night right now in the name of Jesus Christ let the fire from heaven fall right now and command I command that spirit to go help them right now any spirit entity using the face of anyone to molest you and close doors inside outside I command deliverance now I command deliverance now let the daughters of Jacob possess their possession in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit uncontrolled anger. It's a spirit. It's living people right now. Uncontrolled anger. It's, a, it's an unusual anger. Rage. It comes, you can hear anything and you can do anything. I'm seeing fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is a victim of this oppression. Right now in the name of Jesus, I bring you deliverance. 
I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uncontrolled anger, I come against it now. Please help her. Satan, Scotta, Bastata, Yasa, Embracato, Sapa, Rocato, Second, Balacata. I'm seeing a vision and the Lord is asking me to pray on that case in this vision I'm seeing someone dream that's what I'm seeing now and in that dream you keep seeing yourself going back either to your old house or to a primary school or writing an exam you are finished it's a strong spirit of delay I stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace help your wife right now in the name of Jesus at the count of three the spirit of delay hear the word of the Lord let God's people go now one two three I command that spirit go now go now please help them go now this one thing I do forgetting the things that are behind no devil should take you back again I command that spirit go now I cost that spirit now If there is anyone you know, whether you are here or anyone you know, that for some reason has not been able to take in, in the name of barrenness, whether you are here or you are standing for them, I want you to agree, I want to pray. Let's see the devil that will stop them from taking it. In the name of Jesus, anyone you know and you are standing for, that the devil, I don't care what the medical report is, that the devil has come to make sure that they will not celebrate children. In the name that is above all names, we release children from heaven. In the name of Jesus, we release children from heaven. We open every barren womb. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a group of people. You see, you have dreams frequently. And in the dreams, you see yourself receiving things. And it's something that in the physical you are hoping to receive. But the moment you see it in that dream, it will never happen again. It's an irony. It's like the opposite of what you see in dreams is what happens. The Lord is asking me to deliver those people now. Please help her. Help her. Just stand near your wife so that she doesn't have to fall. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Sakatos, Emplantas, Kanasone, Hashamariakata, Sakraskote, Bakatosa, Barekata, Eko, Samama, Kanadakata, Reketeke, in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare from the realm of the spirit, let there be deliverance for you now. Let there be deliverance for you now. If you have seen this pattern I'm about to describe in your family, then I want you to listen carefully. It's always that the future is worse than the past. You never have a situation where you leave certain things and go higher and higher. You look at all your loved ones, they once worked, they once married, they once had children, they once had a house. You are in a situation where the future is never brighter than the past. It's always once upon a time this was happening. I need to cross that devil from your life. Please help them. 
Once upon a time I was rich. Once upon a time I was married. Once upon a time I was on fire for God. Once upon a time I was a pastor. I had a church. No. The path of the just is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter unto the perfect day. When your tomorrow becomes worse than your yesterday, there is a spirit reversing the equation. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. In the name that is above all names, I declare that any force from hell that is responsible for aborting a glorious tomorrow to take the events of the past and still bring it into your tomorrow, right now at the count of three, I declare that spirit must let you go. One, two, three, let them go now. Let them go now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. My spirit is heavy. Speckles of repeated sicknesses. I want to pray now. It's not a normal thing. Whether it is hepatitis, whether it is a blood related disease, or whether it is every month malaria, every month malaria, every month typhoid, you treat it, it still comes back. Every month headache, every month whatever it is. is showing me something. I just saw like a pile of money and then I saw it disappear. And the Lord said there are people, money physically disappears, like lives their life. I'm not saying you waste it. You can keep 10,000 and come back and find 7,000 and nobody was in that house. It's not just money. Items. You can wash clothes and hang it. You, you didn't steal it. You will come back. You will not find it. Listen. Well, this is a, a deliverance theory. Just allow me to help that lady. I'm seeing a lady in a vision now. You were alone. You washed your underwear in the night. By the next day, you didn't find two of them again. It's gone. From that day, something happened in your life in a strange way. Severe menstrual pain is one of the things you started having. Uncontrollable pain. Uncontrollable in the name of Jesus, everything the devil has taken from anyone, I decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit, let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. The Lord is showing me someone. Every time you see someone die in the dream, a few weeks later it will happen physically. Now you have seen your loved ones. You saw them last week. You saw like a, somebody was announcing to you that I don't know if it's your mother or something that died. If we don't pray for you, it's going to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, all death, where is thy sting? All grave, where is thy victory? I prophesy right now upon your life. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I command that death to pass over your family. I command that death to pass over your family. Hallelujah. Just, just let me just talk about two issues. I'm struggling to share what God is showing me now. This has to do with a group of ladies. Listen. There is a lady here. Every time you see yourself in a dream, you are a man, not a woman. That's why I'm struggling to share what I'm seeing. Physically, you are a lady. But every time you see yourself in a dream, it's like you are carrying the form of a man. 
this thing has affected you even in the area of relationship if a guy looks at you and says i love you it's like it's like um it's, it's like you feel as if you are gay it's, it's like something has numbed the capacity to receive love as a lady because of that encounter it's a demonic thing that i have to pray for you for a very demonic thing i'm seeing like smoke this is strange and then it is it's just like moving around in the air wherever those groups of people are i don't believe it's just one person it's an operation of darkness in the name of jesus i stretch my hands right now and i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost be free from that demonic speech now be free from that demonic speech now On. There is a lady, a physical person appeared to you, not a dream. I'm not talking of your dreaming. Physically, physical, like you are seeing me like this, appeared to you and was having a conversation with you. Appeared to you and was having a conversation with you and from that conversation your life was never the same again it looked like it was a woman that was appearing and talking to you like revealing to you some secrets that had to do with the past and from that day you started hearing voices even in the afternoon you can sit down and hear like people are discussing i need to pray for you if i don't pray for you very soon they will admit you in the hospital because they will say you are talking and behaving like somebody who has a psychosomatic condition wherever that person is in the name of jesus i may not call you out because of time but i declare right now by the anointing of the holy spirit that devil that spirit in the name of jesus be free from it now if you know in this place that you find out that certain sicknesses never leave you they keep repeating cycles just place your hand on your chest i'm about to pray it doesn't matter what part of your body and what sickness you just place your hand on your chest i'm going to pray someone will shout under the anointing when that happens the anointing for this healing is not a sickness it's a pattern that god is breaking now the moment that shout happens i will rebuke that the power of god is looking for one person there's somebody that will shout that's the shout right now in the name of jesus by the anointing of the holy spirit every pattern of reoccurring infirmity reoccurring sickness whether it's a blood related disease every pattern i say it again of reoccurring sickness reoccurring disease right now by the power of the holy ghost i command the spirit responsible lose your hold now 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 hallelujah in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit my god i'm seeing his call right now i declare every hold of darkness even in this spirit help them jesus look at what is happening there in the name of jesus you know my voice i was once your victim but tonight has come as one who has been given the keys of david by the message of god i declare right now in the name of jesus everyone here under the sound of my voice who is under any kind of speech right now be free in the name of jesus 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 
every family under any kind of siege that is mocking your Christian integrity and making God's word look like a lie. In the name of Jesus, fire, I'm seeing fire. That's what I'm seeing from heaven. I'm praying for you in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I cause the plague of witchcraft. I cause the plague of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Every voice speaking against everyone's destiny. The Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. The Bible says he nailed it to the cross. I declare and I decree by the substitutionary sacrifice of the eternal begotten of the Father. I cause every power that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I reverse any ordinance in the spirit over every individual, over every family. I command a reversal now in the name of Jesus. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Let me pray for you. Everything that must enter your hand, the open doors that the blood of Christ release. Help them please. Everything you have seen in the realm of the spirit. God has shown you dreams that you are a possessor. God has shown you dreams. Your children, your breakthrough, your lifting, your speed, your job, your marriage. In the name of Jesus, I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. I release it to your hands now. My protected Abbasamata, become a possessor. And I pray for you. The Bible says when you cut a thief, he won't just restore what he stole because he has wasted your time by stealing. Can I speak restoration? Let me tell you. There are many of us who have lost things. Some you have lost time. Masha Makata. Leko Toskabata. Joshua said, Son, go back. Move. Go back. I prophesy to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I prophesy as one strength. In the name that is above all names, everything the devil took away from you, I command a restoration now. I command a restoration now. Whatever you have lost in time, I speak to you. Between today and Friday coming, I pray that someone will have the faith to believe this prayer. May my God, the God of Jeshurun, arise and surprise you. Arise and surprise you. We call him Ebenezer, the helper of Israel. I declare, oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Obtained promises. Obtained promises. Obtained promises. What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receive it, and thou shalt have it. Listen. In the next two minutes, I'd like you to receive things in the spirit. The things that the Bible says, please don't take casual this opportunity. We're operating under an anointing. I'd like you to declare, receive by faith in the name of Jesus. 
Bebarunda Shalabakota. Here are those that they get barata. Receive mantles. Receive anointing. Receive open doors. Receive favors. Receive ble- blessings. Receive graces. In the name of Jesus. Receive ease. Your joy may be fulfilled. Parados tala baraga da barada barada. Hallelujah. I'd like you to take these remaining two minutes seriously. You are going to make decrees. You are not talking to God. You are talking to your destiny. You are talking to your life. Are you ready to pray? Open your mouth and make decrees. Lift up your head. Oh, ye gates. Lift up your head. I command close doors. Open. In the name of Jesus. I hold the keys of David. And I command the doors open. That no man will come. I decree and declare. My God is a shining light. It shines brighter. It shines brighter. On to the perfect day. I decree and declare. I shall not die. I live. I choose life. I choose life. I reject death, not by accident, not by the fall. God is a with paper like a seal. God is a with paper like a seal. In the name of Jesus, I go from glory to glory. I go from power to power. I go from grace to grace. From anointing to anointing. From wisdom to wisdom, Koinonia is like a shining light that goes brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. The Lord gives the word from this place and great be the comfort of them that publish it. Bless your children, bless your wife, bless your husband, bless your home, bless your finances. Bless your spiritual life. We declare over Zaria, we declare over Kaduna, we declare over Nigeria in the name of Jesus, rising from glory to glory. Everything I do prosper in the name of Jesus. No failure of my life. So no failure of me in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we release the spirit of faith. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus the workings of miracles, supernatural testimony by the power of the Holy Ghost from nation to nation, from state to state, from territory to territory. We decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
Turn again the captivity of Zion, like the streams of the Negev. Alabaratu zaka baratu zedeka, entekele barata sta baroto shubahasa, entele grando sta da barusa zias, rabaka baruda sige barudi zias, engla tusta prada baratu zias. In the name of Jesus, turn situations around. We declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Agree with me in the name of Jesus. And the apostle says, Lord, behold their threatenings. And we pray that you stretch forth your hands and you grant that miracles, signs, and wonders be wrought in the name of your Holy Son. He said, Behold their threatenings. Respond to their threatenings by stretching forth your hands and that miracles and signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your Holy Son. Father, we decree and declare. These are issues that have threatened the liberty of the saints. They have robbed you of glory. And Lord, we bring them under judgment. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I stand in agreement with every grace within this house. And we decree and prophesy that these Egyptians you see today, in the name of Jesus, you see them no more forever. These Egyptians you see today, in the name of Jesus, you see them no more forever. My Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, He said, we were like them that dream, and our mouths were filled with laughter, and they said among the hidden, the Lord hath done great things for us. He says, the Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Then He says, turn again our captivity like the streams of the south. We decree and declare that everything that represents captivity here, let it be turned like the streams of the south. The Bible says, have you heard of this proverb before that a nation be born in one day? But then it says, as soon as Zion travails, it says she shall put forth her son. I declare speed to every request here. <laughs> Prophet Joel speaking by the Spirit said, and I will restore the years. Let me tell you this, real dominion is dominion over time. No matter what you dominate, if you do not dominate time, you are not walking in dominion. And I will restore the years. Many of us, we've wasted time, we've wasted opportunities. In the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, I pray for you. Listen. Every time we, we wrap up these meetings with impartations, it is not a ceremony. Not many people are really sick. Not many people are really oppressed. But the challenge with many believers is that we may sustain the knowledge, but we do not sustain the grace that provides for the possibilities that we desire. The Bible says, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you. The key to sufficiency is sustaining the requisite level of grace. There is a grace that controls speed. There is a grace that controls favor. You can be hard working, but it does not mean you have favor. The Bible says it is vain to wake up in the morning. It takes agility to wake up in the morning and then to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow. But the Bible says he gives his beloved rest. He can bring his beloved into Sabbath. Hallelujah. Yes. There is a grace that compels the helpers of your destiny to find you. Just because they were ordained to help you does not mean they will find you. No. The king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Hallelujah. We desire all kinds of favors. We desire all kinds of liftings. And let me tell you sincerely, these things are not in heaven. They've left long from the foundations of the earth. The Bible lets us know that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places routed through the Christ it will take understanding of his systems to make these things become real in our lives 
and the possibilities in the life of a believer please hear this we are wrapping up is governed by three things number one is governed by your understanding of the ways of God the methodologies of God as it makes for that issue of concern every need in the kingdom has a requisite level of spiritual understanding Colossians 1 verse 9 that we be filled with the knowledge of his will that we be filled with all wisdom and with spiritual understanding so everything we desire there is a requisite level of spiritual understanding that sponsors that possibility number two having obtained the understanding you will need the grace the empowerment that causes you to walk in the experience of that which you now know hallelujah and so Paul is saying God is able it is within his ability the Bible says do not withhold good from him that is due when it is within your power it is within the power of God to lift it is within the power of God to restore listen to me it is within the power of God to bless to open doors but there are graces that control it thou anointest my head with oil my cup he does not anoint your cup you know what is on your head by looking at your cup if your head is anointed your cup will prove it thou anointest my head with oil my ministry overflows you anoint my head with oil my finances overflow you anoint my head with oil favor overflows so the real problem for many people is the correct understanding of impartation impartation is not anointing with oil impartation is not even falling down impartation is a spiritual system by which the possibilities of the spirit are transferred is the transference of spiritual possibilities and the thing the operation of God's grace in the life of a man the anointing the engracing if it is there it is there if it's not there it's not there it's as simple as that if it is there it will speak immediately hallelujah so it is possible that you walk out of this meeting tonight with a dimension of grace you did not come with and you will know by the results that begin to change remember our teaching that Christ be revealed that Christ be glorified but there is a coordination of graces the weightiness of a man in the spirit is a summation of the graces that are at work in your life when you become a, a compendium of several graces then your possibilities become defined by these graces favor speed lifting access to the hearts of men there is a grace that makes a generation loyal to you it takes more than leadership it is a grace there is a grace that compels everything that is in your hand to multiply it's true that a woman can be frying a cara and yet build from that business it's not a cara that built it there is a grace on it that is the grace that can make five loaf and two fish to feed five thousand people and still have twelve baskets full listen please hear me anything you do and i'm not stupid believe me i know what i'm saying anything you do without being empowered first is a total waste of time do business from the strength of the flesh and you will watch yourself have a plethora of frustrations it will come one after the other in successions that will frustrate you but let that investment of the speed rest upon your life and you will watch things that should not work work the anointing of the spirit does not work generically anointings are in levels and dimensions and they limit themselves to the jurisdiction of their operation the grace for favor will not heal the sick please listen to me are we together now the grace for wisdom will not necessarily bring speed as it were so the bible says god is able to make all grace all abound towards you i like to know what graces are not at work in my life so that i pursue them with hunger desperation and honor so when we are gathered like this haven't received prayer for healing haven't received the word 
I think in my opinion that one of the most important things that you receive is a new anointing, a new dimension, either a higher level of the same grace or a new dimension of a grace that you did not have. You can have the grace that makes for productivity, but not have the grace for favor. Everything you have, you work for. That's not profitable. You will not be able to give God glory. The proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive? I have watched which shock how people have neglected graces that their destinies their ministries their businesses require and i've also watched with shock at the childlike reception that ordinary people have just come to embrace graces that turn them into signs and wonders i've said with you again and again my testimonies that i am a product of many anointings many anointings I like to find the graces that are not at work in my life and I know them by tracing the things that look like limitations in my life I'm like a spiritual archaeologist I thank God for that which is at work but I search for that which is not at work because every grace is available it takes discernment and honor to receive hallelujah and I'm standing tonight in agreement with all the graces of the men and the women of God in this place and if you can believe you will be surprised you see I have prayed for many years and I will tell you this you know that I love you you are my people I'm committed to your growth please listen to me there is a grace I have prayed and cried to God over that it will rest upon this house in a lavish way and is the grace for favor. I have seen people reproduce various graces, the anointing, the healing, the wisdom of God, but I don't know why this favor dimension. <laughs> When the favor of God comes upon your life, you will stand and marvel. You will wonder at how men become like robots to see to it that your destiny manifests. It is the grace for favor that will call the kings of Tyre and Sidon to come and entreat your favor. They will come to you with their bounties. They will entreat you to receive from their benevolence. It takes the grace of God. Everyone who lives you has relatives in need. Whatever will make him leave them and come to you must be the hand of God. Favor accelerates destiny. Believe me, it does. It can take 10 years and put it in one year. In this kingdom, who hates you does not matter, but who likes you matters. That is what it means to be Beulah and Hepzibah. You become a delight. A delight in the name of Jesus. The favor that is required in this season for the glory of the saints, I prophesy upon you, let it rest on your life now. to the hearts of kings access to the resources of nobles receive that grace in the name of Jesus Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 this is the litmus test for favor if favor is at work in your life this is the proof if favor is not at work in your life this is the proof and I will give this people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty emptiness has an explanation when no man arises to see you important enough for them to invest their time their credibility their reputation their resources to honor the dealings of God in your life hear me the diagnosis 
is that you do not sustain favor it's not yet at work in your life one more time i pray in the name of jesus the favor that will move you and shift you to strange dimensions of grace may it rest upon you now in the name of jesus i declare the wisdom that comes from above the wisdom the hidden wisdom of god that was ordained for the glory of the saints may that dimension of wisdom be made manifest in your life from tonight <laughs> hallelujah the bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness it says therefore even god thy god has anointed you with an oil called the oil of gladness and it says that oil sets you above your fellows the grace that distinguishes you in the name of jesus may that grace rest upon you <laughs> hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon not god the king a king can send for you and bring you out of your situation listen listen to me the king sent for joseph not god there are men who can help men all blessings come from god through men to men i declare the man that is ordained of god to hold your hands your ministry your business in this season and to see to it that you rise in the name of jesus enjoy their ministry <laughs> hallelujah praise the lord i pray for every dead vision every dead dream that which has been locked up in your spirit man but has refused to find expression i give it life right now in the name of jesus can i pray for your family it says as for me and my house when you serve the lord alone you are not free it must be you and your house i pray for your family members may the angel of his presence go to every family and see to which that it becomes a reflection of the glory of god <laughs> hallelujah Acts chapter 12 the Bible says on account of the gospel Peter was caught after James was beheaded and he was chained and there were guards that protected him but the church prayed earnestly the Bible says and then it says that the angel of the Lord came into the prison cell and the chains fell off on their own and he led Peter out through three gates the first gate opened him up and then the second gate opened him up and then the bible says he came to a gate called the iron gate and when that gate opened the next thing he saw was the city there are gates that must open for you to step into your place of influence watch this it was not the first gate it was not the second gate the iron gate opened and your business found visibility the iron gate opened it says he has broken the gates of brass and caught the bars of iron in thunder the gates that must be opened for your influence your business your ministry to find expression i speak to it a father be open be open be open be open in the name of jesus hear me i prophesy to you whoever fights you goes down instantly listen the bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake begging that means this is the basis touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm i say it again whoever fights you goes down instantly <laughs> Everyone here, under the sound of my voice, due for promotion, I stand by the God of heaven and I shift you to the next level. <laughs> 
and everyone trusting God for a job. In the parable that Jesus gave, they said, why sittest thou idle? He said, no man employ us. Immediately they got a job. I declare to you by the Spirit, between now and the next three months, like the act of God in the house of Obed Edom, receive miracle testimony. Hallelujah. Let me speak to everything dead in your life. He came and met the girl, 12 years old, dead. And he said, no, she only sleeping. And the people laughed and he drove them out. And then he held her by the hands and said, Talita Kumi, little girl, I say unto you, arise. I speak to everything that seems dead in the name of Jesus, by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, come back to life now. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. It says, For behold, I do a new thing. I pray for you. Everything that does not represent the workings of God in your life, in the name of Jesus, I declare that it fades with your yesterday. And I open you up to a new season of supernatural manifestation. I prophesy to everyone who is trusting God for direction for the next level of his life, be it marriage, be it whatever, you are at a crossroad and you need the voice of God. May you hear the voice of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I prophesy clarity in the name of Jesus. I prophesy everyone who is already moving the wrong direction either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress in the name of Jesus may the Lord redirect your steps now may the Lord redirect your steps now may the Lord redirect your steps now Anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures. The Bible says there is a way that seemed right. You must be at the geography of your grace to thrive. And Isaac sowed not everywhere in that land. In the name that is above all names. May you hear the voice of his majesty. As you sleep tonight. May you hear the voice of His Majesty. I pray for every born here who is experiencing stagnation. You are marking time and instead of you to make progress, you are not moving. By extension to every family. In the name that is above all names. The Lord told Moses, why are you crying to me? Tell the people to move forward. I prophesy over your destiny. Move forward now. Move forward now. Move forward now. Make progress now. Make progress now. I prophesy over those trusting God to settle down maritally. Man taka kaboko to baladaba. Man bredu suzete bene. Every power of darkness tying down your marital destiny. In the name of Jesus, that embargo is lifted now. By the blood of Jesus, that embargo is lifted now. Sisters, I open your marital doors now. In the name of Jesus. No more shall this proverb be used in your life. May the Lord change your story. 
Hallelujah. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness, and that oil sets you above your fellows in the name of Jesus. The anointing that distinguishes you, man to kaparata legata, so from today, everywhere you go, be distinguished now. Help them, please, so that they don't be distinguished now. Sekete pokoto, be distinguished now. No more will you be common. No more will you be like the rest. The hand of God is upon you. No more will you be common. I prophesy from the depths of my heart. Let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now. All those trusting God for jobs. Let me... There's nothing as joblessness. The Bible says he saw them idle. And he said, Why standeth ye idle? And they say, No man employ us. He told them, Go to the vine. When God speaks, there must be job. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wherever your job is, I don't care what the limiting factors are. There is a superior advantage because you are in Christ. Therefore, I invoke man tato sotobala by the ministry of destiny help us wherever you need to be called wherever your cv is i provoke a miracle job now 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 Hallelujah. I pray for everyone called barren in this place. Anyone called barren in this place. I declare to you according to the word of the Lord. That according to the time of life. May you return with your miracle child. May you return with your miracle child. I speak it. I establish it in the spirit. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18. It says, Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Israel, against Jerusalem. And against Judah, so that no man will lift up his head. He said, But I have sent carpenters in the name that is above all names. The Lord told me He will bring breakthrough. I want to prophesy it now. now. Whatever has limited you, whatever has limited your family, right now in the name that is above all names, I come with the rod of a higher priesthood and I command every limitation be broken now. Limitations be broken now. Limitations. I send the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Limitations be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Let the power of God break every limitation now. Hallelujah. He told Saul, he said, as you return, you will see three men holding bread, but two of them will give it to you. Does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves? In the name that is above all names. The favor of God that can end the struggles in a man's life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. Please believe it. It's not by power. 
there is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of God. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, I prophesy, receive favor. Favor. Let the Esther anointing come upon you now. Favor with men. Favor with God. Favor with kings. Favor with destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus. Every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now hallelujah whatever you have been trying to do and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around circles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed i provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again it's a master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word i bring the word of the lord to your life now what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah i pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage every family represented here he said as for me and my house not as for me alone as for me and my house hallelujah in the name of jesus may the fire of god may the fire of the holy ghost bring advancement in every family represented here i command every family make progress move forward make progress move forward move forward hallelujah i speak over everyone here and every family anyone marked for death anyone marked for death all earth i speak hear the word of the lord we forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here you remain immortal until your assignment is complete you do not live by the sword therefore you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism you are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ and for many who are students here mando kasike de pakadata rakato bosku prendike jabalal in the name of jesus every yoke of academic bondage in the name that is above all names i command be free from it now 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 therefore i release upon you the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence on common speed academic exploits in the name of jesus hallelujah for every ministry every business everything that is dead and grounded in the name that is above all names like the dry bones in the valley of ezekiel i command life to it now i command life now i command life now in the name of the lord jesus christ 
I command life now. Hallelujah. Everyone in ministry in this place. I pray for you. Let the doors of opportunity be opened up to you. You were not designed to market yourself. The Bible said, let her walk speak for her at the gates. I command everything stopping your walk from speaking for you. Let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every struggle in any area of ministry, we call it to end now. In the name of Jesus. And anyone who is in ministry and you are confused, you really don't know where you stand. You don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing. In the name that is above all names, let there be clarity. Absolute clarity. In the name of Jesus. Now lift up your hands. I want to pray for your finances. In the name that is above all names. First and foremost, I cause the spirit of greed that stops you from engaging the principles that will bring true wealth and abundance. I command the giving grace to come upon you in the name of Jesus. I cause the spirit of greed. Let it be far from your life in the name of Jesus. Grace for you to be a faithful tither. Grace for you to be a faithful giver. Grace for you to be a kingdom investor. May God give you wisdom. May God give you favor. May God bless the works of your hands. Therefore I release a supernatural anointing for you to prosper. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. God gives you wisdom. God gives you ideas in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Everyone here who is trusting God and is saying, Lord, restore. Everyone here who had a better yesterday that is saying, Lord, if there was a way I can turn the hands of time, I prophesy to you. There is a God that can turn the hands of time and cause men to experience restoration. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, we bring back into your life every opportunity that was once lost. In the name of Jesus, opportunity for favor, receive it. Opportunity for healthy connection. Every opportunity in your life that has been wasted by the favor and the mercy of God, we call back that opportunity to return in the name of Jesus Christ. We call it to return in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever has made you cry, in the name that is above all names, whatever has brought tears out of your eyes, because you were in a state where nothing and no one could help you, in the name that is above all names, may my God arise for you. And that everyone who has laughed at you and said, where is their God? In the name that is above all names, that God will arise for you. My God will arise for you. My God will arise for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray right now. There are thousands of people. Miracles will be happening as I'm praying. Some of you is happening to your members at home. Father, miracles will break out right now. At the count of three, I just felt the anointing on me. One, two, prayer requests are being answered supernaturally 
Job, 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 job. A job is coming. I see it. Marriage is coming. I see it. Admission, admission. Jam, jam request. Wayek. Someone wants to get married before December. I see it. Financial breakthrough. Answer for your mother. Answer for your mother. Salvation of your family members. Mighty salvation. Some of them are in the beer parlor. The angel of the Lord is going after them. Father, you have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning. This is no pretense, oh God. I speak right now. Let I feel every prayer request to come on my head. And for those streaming online, I change it to be testimonies now. Everybody stand. In the name of Jesus. Please, everybody stand. I speak to you. I speak to you. Prayer request. Believe in the Lord, and that and which is best established will share the word believe in his prophets, become testimonies, and, you shall and be delivered for God's people in the name of Jesus. Please lift your hands, everybody. Hallelujah. Give God thanks, it is done. Hallelujah. Please, as I speak. I want you to believe it. I want you to receive it. While I pray, the Lord told me, if it does not happen, it's because you did not speak it. Things will change right now. As I speak, the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking. All I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it Infirmities are going. Infirmities are going. 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 Cancer go. Cancer go. HIV die. HIV die. SS change to AA. SS change to AA. AS change to AA. Every blood disease, go, go, go. Every blood disease, go now. Go now. My grand headache, go now. Go now. Fibroid, go now. Go now. Baptic altar, be gone right now. Be gone right now. HIV, one and two, in any body or family. I command you, die now. Every infection in ladies and guys 
right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now every eye problem be gone now deafness in the ears go now any of your family members who is bedridden whether for stroke I'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of Jesus I command them to arise from that bed every plague of death over any family he said and when I see the blood I will pass I pray any devil that has said you will not see 2014 and has said your family members will not see I cause that devil in the name of Jesus hallelujah any kind of delay in this place marital delay or any kind of delay at the count of three yoke and causes of delay be gone one two three go 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Any altar of darkness. Hear me. I don't care where it's coming from. That is speaking against your life or the well being of your family. Right now. That altar, wherever it is, it will catch fire now. Catch fire now. It will catch fire now. Shake it, shake it. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar. Shake it, shake it. Every altar. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar against any family. Catch fire now. Hallelujah. Listen. Whoever has been marked for this favor that they say things cannot work for you or your family members, I remove that embargo of this favor now. 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 Hallelujah. Hear me. Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will shout restore at the count of three. We're hurrying up, we're out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command 
yokes of academic failure be lifted now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled, hear me. Some of you are Christians, but you have struggled with habits, masturbation, pornography. It's not like you are bad. You have been trying and trying to stop. It's eating your life, whether for you or for your loved one. Right now, I pray that embargo of darkness. Sin shall not have dominion. And I pray, whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life, leaves you now. 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 Anyone here looking for a job, or your family members, they've tried They've applied everywhere. My Bible says promotion comes neither from the east, nor the south, nor the west. I pray right now. Let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you. May that anointing shoot you now. Take it. Take it. I command miracle jobs, miracle jobs, miracle jobs in the name of Jesus. Those of us who are in business, or your family members are in business, I pray right now in the name that is above all names. The Bible says it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever it do, it prospers. I pray right now. I command every business here grow in the name of Jesus. Grow in the name of Jesus. Expand in the name of Jesus. Increase in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Whatever trouble is in your family, some of you, your family is at the brink of divorce. Some of you, your father is not taking care of you. I don't care. Family problems, God is visiting them now. Every family problem. Because God marked this miracle service for families. Every problem. Satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people. At the count of three, be released. One, two, three. Families be free. Families be released. I command peace. I command prosperity. I command love. Every power spirit responsible for the situation in family be lifted now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now, wherever they are, Destiny help us. I call you into the life of God's people. Wine pressers and bakers, so forth, come forth. And he went to the tomb of Lazarus, and Lazarus was dead four days. And he called him forth right now. Whatever is dead in your life and your family, I stand under this unction of God and I pray. Whatever is dead, I command it right now. Let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord. Come forth now. 
come forth now. Whatever is dead, come forth now. Hallelujah. I release breakthrough into your life. Receive it. All kinds of breakthroughs. All kinds of breakthroughs. You are well favored. I pray for your spiritual life. Some of you, your spiritual lives are zero. No word life, no prayer life. Tonight, let a fire that not even you can quench. Fire, prayer, fire. Word fire. Take it. Take it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. A hunger for the things of the Spirit. Take it, take it, take it. A hunger to study the Word. Grace to be obedient. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness. And the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows. I pray for you. Wherever you go from today, let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you. Let it distinguish you. Out of the crowd, let it distinguish you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Any member of your family that is not born again, I pray. By the permission of the Spirit of God, let the angels of God look for them and bring them into the faith now. No matter how hardened they are, we call them born again now. We establish it. Every power that is not of God must let you and your family go tonight. Hallelujah. Father, visit your people. 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 Now hear me. At the count of three. So I see that sword again. I see that sword. Bring them out. I see that sword of the spirit. At the count of three, hear me. Inside and outside, there will be a convocation of the power of God. And every yoke of darkness must give way right now. Every spell and every enchantment. Man te la katosota is a blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance. Lift your hands at the count of three. I like us to shout that name that is above every other name. I invoke the power of the kingdom I represent and I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that everyone and every family under any spell bring them out ushers every spell of darkness in the name that is above all names i speak with an apostolic voice from the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus that every power every witchcraft that has kept god's people down you must go now at the count of three shout that name one Two, get ready now. Go protocoto. Three, go press the day. Now, now, I command those power. I command power inside and outside in the overflow. Right now, right now, Marco Pocotos, Embrecate, Soto Prosita, in the name of Jesus, I command judgment, judgment, every altar, every yoke, 
Outside, there are angels moving outside. There are angels with mighty swords outside. Makata bread, suppose again, no power that ties your destiny will remain tonight. Embrekete, Soto Kota, Mante Brakata, Orekete Brekete, Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. All those in the overflow, right to the second overflow at the back. Lift your hands. Lift your hands, everybody outside. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I want those outside to shout that name, Jesus. And there are people, I see chains, chains around people. At the count of three, those outside, the Holy Ghost is going to visit families. There is fire that will fall outside. Are you ready now, those outside? One, two, three. I see a pruning fork outside. I see a pruning fork outside. Lord, let no families, let no individuals stand. Tonight is the night of breakthrough. I'm hearing in my spirit the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. The Lord is asking me to count four. One, two, three, four. Take it now. Let it be yours. Great wisdom. I'm seeing mantles falling. Mantles falling. Strange wisdom coming from heaven. Strange wisdom. Coming from heaven. Receive it right now. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody who used to have dreams. And everything you see will come to pass. But it stopped. Right now I'm seeing a grace for restoration. Coming upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. It's not a general prophecy. There are exact people. That this is happening to a restoration. A restoration. A restoration. A restoration. A restoration. Hallelujah. There is a grace. I feel like praying for students. There is a grace for academic excellence. Listen, it doesn't just happen. Believe me. It's not just about what you learn. There is a grace. There is a, an exact grace for this. Lord, I pray right now in a name that is above all names. I stretch my hands to your people. As many, O oh God, as will please you. Let this baptism of this function for extraordinary understanding, let it come upon them right now. At the count of three, receive it now. One, two, three. Take it now. Please help them. Receive that grace right now. It's coming upon you. Extraordinary intelligence. Capacity to assimilate. Capacity to understand. Capacity to understand.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That fair lady that shared her testimony, lift your hands. I see an angel pouring something like fire on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence. I don't know you, but I release that grace upon you. From today, you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a grace for entrepreneurship, creativity, witty inventions. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing at least 43 people. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let it come on them, O oh God. Believe me, let it come on them, O oh God. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands now. 43. I'm seeing a number 43. Strange ideas coming on your spirit now. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Receive it right now. I want to pray for those in ministry. There is always an unction for the next dimension. I don't know where you are, but you are going to begin to feel fire from your feet. Rising upwards. That's the instruction God is giving me. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm praying right now. Fresh fire. Fresh mantle. Let it begin to arise now. You are in ministry in this place. Begin to receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. Receive it right now. Those in ministry, help them. Strange fire. I see strange fire rising from the feet. Rise on top from the feet. Rise on top from the feet. Please help them. In the name of Jesus. Can you carry the child so that it doesn't... In the name of Jesus. Strange fire. Revival fire, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me about a group of people here that He wants to bring into intimacy with Him. There is a dimension of intimacy. It will surprise you. You will start finding out that you are going alone to go and sit in a place. The Holy Spirit wants to reintroduce Himself to certain people. Lord, where are they? Where are they? Find them. Find them tonight. Find rest in them. Where are these men and women? Where are these men and women that you want to introduce yourself to? Beyond church. Beyond church. Beyond church. Arado Supra Gadisala Kuriata. Hallelujah. Ah! I'm seeing people here who will be burning for days like fire literal physical fire that will not stop you will go with it you will wake up with it it will continue there is an energizing of the spirit that is happening to people an energizing of the spirit happening to people it's a fresh fire it's a fresh fire hallelujah If you came with anything that is a point of contact, whether a document, certificate, whatever it is that is a point of contact, whether you are inside or outside, anything you can use, I want you to lift it up.
so many things are happening to people in the realm of the spirit there's someone at the media stand the Lord is lifting that person to the next level I'm seeing someone in a vision down at the media stand stepping up let them enter oh God right now let them enter into that realm that dimension somebody at the media stand the Lord is it's like an initiation into a dimension into a dimension Hallelujah. Acts chapter 19 says Handkerchiefs and aprons Handkerchiefs and aprons I've explained to you the mystery behind these results No man can speak over your life And you just have results like that It, it doesn't happen that way I'm about to speak over your points of contact If you don't have anything You are the point of contact yourself Are we together? Many of you will be surprised Believe me Believe me Many of you will be surprised At the dramatic things that will happen We are talking about the Holy Spirit here We are not just talking about an anointed man We are talking about the Holy Spirit His anointing like a cloud Comes to mantle certain aspects of your life And you see grace Speaking for you Grace Speaking for you Lift it up, you can lift your hands. to speak now in the name that is above all names I prophesy upon every point of contact you are using now let a a grace the power of performance that makes things to work I release it right now upon that instrument I release it upon your documents I release it upon your pictures I release it upon your certificates I release it upon your proposals Hear me Whatever you are agreeing for as a point of contact I give life to it now In the name of Jesus Christ And I decree and declare By the power of the Holy Spirit A dimension of results you have never seen Begin to see it now I speak to every CGPA that is down here Hear my voice I speak as one sent by the Lord I command you to arise now In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ There are people who Are supposed to graduate But as it is now It looks like they may not graduate I change it now In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree and declare Where your helpers have passed you and ignored you I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you Listen Everything that used to flow in your life And stopped mysteriously I opened the door for it to continue Everyone here in business Any kind of godly business I stretch my hands Enter a level of rest now Believe what I'm praying for you I bring you into a dimension of rest now Every troubled family here 
all kinds of troubles from lack of finances to trouble to fight to quarrel in the name of Jesus I introduce an anointing to that family and I command let there be peace right now 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 every troubled family let there be peace right now there are people here who need divine direction as a matter of urgency i speak to you hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear in the name of jesus christ in dreams and visions may his will be made known to you in the name of jesus christ I command every manifestation of the spirit of fear, fear of the unknown, fear of the future, uncertainties around your life that is making you do foolish things. I command right now, fear, go in the name of Jesus. 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 Every veil of disfavor that is around your life that makes things to work for others until it gets to your turn and then mysteriously when the breakthrough is almost coming you never see it I decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus I command that captivity to end now I command that captivity to end now hear me everyone called jobless here I stand in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare may your miracle job find you believe what you are hearing may your miracle job find you in the name of Jesus now I pray for anyone here having any infirmity I don't care what it is I don't care how long any stranger in your body a lady is going to shout now under the anointing and then the power of God for healing will touch people in the name of Jesus I command be healed now say amen be healed now be healed now be healed now every blood disease be healed now ulcers be healed now migraines be healed now every kind of abnormal condition in your body be healed now growths and lumps around the body whether breast lumps all kinds of lumps I command that they disappear right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your family in the name of Jesus between now and the next seven days may you hear strange testimonies from God please believe me I say it again between now and the next seven days I stand in the name of the Lord God of heaven and I command in the next seven days unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies it doesn't take time it takes its anointing everything that your hands have done and it did not work Recos Kapradish Kalabri Dasuzia Bataka Labish 
I stretch my hands to yours and I command from today become a proof producer. I command today become a resource producer. Become a resource producer. Become a proof producer. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Every pending issue over your life Every pending issue, any kind of pending issue, right now, issues that have been hanging in the realm of the spirit, and will not be resolved. I decree and declare, let an end come to those issues now. Let an end come to those issues now. Let an end come to those issues now. Every family here that has experienced delay as a family, not an individual alone, there is unction upon me. The hand of God is upon me. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, the Lord is asking me to push families forward. I push you forward now. By the mystery of prophecy, I push you forward now. I push you forward now. me in the name of Jesus Christ whoever must show up in your life and lift you and lift your mother and lift your father and wipe your tears in the name of Jesus I stand by the God of heaven whose I am and I decree and declare that between now and the next two weeks friends encounters Strange encounters. Strange encounters with the gift of men. Strange encounters. Strange encounters. Mysterious coincidences that will lead to your breakthrough. Everything that has died in your hands and in your life, hear the word of the Lord. I command it to come back to life now. I want to pray. Please drop your hands. Just the brothers, lift your hands. I want to release upon you grace for establishment. Listen. If you are wise, you will pay attention to what I'm saying. There is a grace that establishes men. Are we together now? Establishment is where you gain stability in life. Financially, are we together? Relationally, spiritually, purposefully. There are many men, many church brothers. The reason why many people are not in relationships, the reason why many people cannot move forward in their life is because the devil has taken this aspect out of their lives. So you find a godly brother, but you are 35 years, you are still begging for money, you are still living in your parents' house. It's a cause. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus, I pray for every brother here. The grace and the unction that turns weak men into great men. The grace and the unction that establishes men financially, ministerially, career-wise, and in purpose at the count of three. In the name of Jesus Christ, whose I am and whom I serve, I decree and declare, may that grace come upon you now. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Upon you, I command that grace. There is a gentleman outside. That grace is coming upon him in a mighty way. Take that grace right now. Brothers, receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. It is this grace that brings speed of establishment in your life. Help us come to support you to gain your footing in life. It's not just by growing old. There is a grace. 
You don't have to pay for everything by yourself. There is a grace that sends helpers to your life, to your ministry. Establishment is a mystery in the spirit. You can have a thing, but when you are established, you are, you are well stabilized enough to now begin to be a blessing to others. There are many people who are experiencing finances here, but they are not established. You are established means you can bless others without being affected. Established in wisdom. Your mind is developed so that you no longer act like a child. The Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is ministering to me that He wants to take away barrenness. 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 It doesn't just mean physical barrenness alone. Unproductivity is a cause. Is the cause of hardship. The classic sign that a man is carrying that demonic thing is barrenness. In the name of Jesus, I command your desert to become a fruitful vine. In the name of Jesus, I command your fruitful vine to become a forest. I say it again in the name of Jesus, I command your desert to be a fruitful vine. I command your desert to be a fruitful vine. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In one minute, I want you to ask the Lord for any one thing. I'm releasing my faith with you. Just one thing. Lift your voice and pray. I'm releasing my faith with you. Please pray. One minute. Ask the Lord and watch it happen. I release my faith with you. In the name of Jesus. I release my faith with you. Ask the Lord. Don't say it is impossible. We are talking about the God of heaven here. We are talking about the spirit of the living God. What you see is the ministry of the spirit. The ministry of the spirit. Ask what he will. And it will be granted unto you by the spirit of God. Are you praying? Just one thing. Change my life. Just one thing. Give me laughter. Just one thing. Answer my marriage. Just one thing. Give me a child. Just one thing. Settle me financially. Just one thing. Multiply your grace on my life. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that you have asked the Lord, I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony. Listen, the Bible says, and whatsoever Adam called it, that was the name thereof. If it is called a testimony, then it becomes a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, no matter how impossible it is, may the God of all flesh, the God of Jeshurun, that rides upon the wings of the wind, I pray that He will step into your life and give you dramatic testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will literally start feeling the presence of the Holy Spirit, like a presence walking, literally, literally. I mean what I'm saying. Literally walking like someone walking, you enter a room. Some of you you will feel it as wind. Some of you you will see that shadow, a similitude of his presence. You will begin to have encounters, not demonic encounters, encounters with his presence. You will be sleeping, hear me. You will be sleeping and you will feel a physical touch. A man will wake you. You will be alone in the room, yet you will hear a voice, clear, a real voice. You will know that this is the Spirit of God leading you. In the name of Jesus, I activate that dimension. Begin to walk in the impulses of the Spirit. The voice of the Spirit. The touch of the Spirit. The feelings of the Spirit. I program your spirit man to understand the impulses of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Yes. He will come to you. He will come to you. He will open your Bible when you are sleeping. You will wake up and see your Bible open. He will write notes and leave it physical notes on paper. You will see it happen. He will pray and he will come to your room. Like Benny Hinn, it will be good morning, Holy Spirit. You will have similitudes of encounters with him. You will sleep in the night and your whole night will be full of visions, 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 encounters, visions, encounters, visions. Hear me? Men will come and sit on your bed and start shaking under the anointing because something, a deposit of eternity has followed you. They will wear your clothes and the mantle will catch up with them. They will wear your shoes. They will eat in your place and you will carry strange fire. In the name of Jesus, you will hear men call you and confess and tell you I'm sorry. I'm the one who stole your laptop. I'm sorry. I'm the one who took this from you. I'm sorry. Because of the presence of God. Listen. By this new dimension of encounter, I command that you become untouchable. Untouchable by witches and wizards. Untouchable by accidents. Untouchable by bomb blasts. Untouchable by armed robbers. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Water to shame. Your senior partner will arise for you. No longer will people say, Where is your God? Your life will be an answer to that prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, there are some of you here, what has happened to you tonight, it will last for a long time. The word of God, the Bible will open to you in a fresh way, a way that you have never seen it, a dimension that you have never seen. Hear me, some of you after tonight, God will start giving you instructions to go and pray for certain people. Don't be afraid, you will go and you will watch miracles erupt. Signs and wonders erupt in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, I ask finally that everyone following online, everyone following here inside and in any of the overflows, everything that has made men mock God in your life, I am agreeing with you from the depth of my heart. I give you the next 13 days. Surprise them. Surprise them with the enviable results that will come from your life. Surprise your accusers. Surprise everyone who knew you. In the name of Jesus. In this Bible, people had their situations turned overnight. They slept as prisoners. And by the end of the next day, they were in the palace. Whilst you pray, please let your heart be open. God, you are able to do this for your business, for your life, for your children. Don't be silent. Are we together? Lift your voice and we are going to pray in the spirit for some time. Praise the Lord. This, this is a personal affair. Just take some time. You are not a man. You're not a man, no. Pray. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God of everything, no one like you. No one like you.
Marado sade bala kato branda kata bala daba. Ke parota sada branda kata la kato siada bala daba. My life must change. My destiny must reveal the glory, the power, the grace of God. Those who are following from whatever nation, please take time to pray. Participate, follow in prayer. Call on to me and I will answer. Shiva kata branda gato sakre de kete baladaba. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it meaning you can never have what you have not received you only have what you have received it says what things soever now in one minute i i like you to lift up your voice that issue of concern that seems to defy the name of the Lord in your life in the next five minutes I'd like you to lift up your voice before I bring prayer points lift your voice and cry before your maker in faith knowing that there is a God who can answer go ahead and pray go ahead and pray some of you are trusting God to reveal himself as the God of increase some of you are trusting God for speed trusting God for restoration don't be silent I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth the maker of heaven and earth the maker of heaven and earth the maker of destiny the maker of businesses the maker of ministries walls we need to break down and trust God to give us visitations. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18. Please read with me if you can see. Ready? Read. Wherefore we would have come unto you even I Paul once and again but Satan hindered us. Wherefore your breakthrough would have arrived before now. Wherefore the answer to your prayer would have come before now. The God of wonders being made manifest. But it looked like he was a boss in office. It looked like it was some sort of sociological phenomenon. But the Bible says Satan hindered us. Are you ready to pray? You're going to decree and declare that every hindrance that stands between you and the next dimension that may the God of wonders arise and show up smashing everything that does not name the name of Christ lift your voice and begin to pray please pray with faith pray with power pray with faith pray with power 
every hindrance in the name of Jesus I come against every hindrance every mountain who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel before Zerubbabel thou shalt be made plain Career mountains, spiritual mountains, financial mountains, mountains stopping your influence and your visibility. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ah! Paris Exodus chapter 14. The Bible says, once upon a time, we read 13, 14, and 15. The Bible says, the nation of Israel, watch this. It was already a miracle that after 430 years, by the manifestation of the God of wonders, after the last plague, Pharaoh let them go. And whilst they were on their way with joy, suddenly Pharaoh said, I made a mistake. I will have to be on my way back. Did you know that what left you yesterday is still looking for you? And the Bible says they got to a point where behind them were a, an angry, angry Egyptian warriors with their chariots. And before them was the Red Sea. They needed the manifestation of the God of wonders. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you when? Today. You can choose another day, but I make up my mind. Today. It says for the Egyptians, Kabaruski Avatar. This is a word for someone. The Egyptians, the disappointments. I know it happened in 2013, 14, 15. Don't get used to pain. Don't get used to disappointment. God is about to show up. He said, The Egyptians, whom ye have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. Verse 14. The Lord. The God of wonders now. There are times that he gives you grace to fight. But there are times that he says this battle. This battle. Please take it for me higher guys. My spirit is fired up on this altar. Hallelujah. The Lord said unto Moses. Wherefore criest thou unto me? He says speak to the children of Israel. That they go forward. You are about to pray. Don't make this place rowdy. But some of you may need to take prophetic steps and you are declaring in the name of Jesus, I refuse to remain here. God of wonders arise. Push me forward. I need advancement in my life. Is someone praying? Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we are still praying. First Samuel chapter 12 and verse 6. 1 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 6. I sense there is a grace moving someone forward. Honestly. 1 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 6. Read with me please if you are a believer. Ready? Read. And Samuel said unto the people, It is the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron and brought your fathers up out of the land of Egypt. People don't just move forward in this kingdom. There is an invisible hand that moves businesses, that moves ministries. Someone lift your voice and cry. Oh God, God of wonders, advance me. Advance me. Advance me. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are not wasting your time. Psalm 45 verse 12. Something is happening to someone. Psalm 45 verse 12. I receive it for myself. Psalm 45 and verse 12. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. 
it says even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor someone is about to pray god of wonders give me visibility let the gentiles come to my light and their kings in this season to the brightness of my rising lift your voice and begin to pray the bible says the daughter of tyre will come to you with a gift and even their nobles will entreat your favor hallelujah hallelujah please look up one of the reasons why god steps in over our lives is to help us redeem time no matter what you lose if you have time you did not lose no matter what you have if you lose time you lost are we together destiny listen carefully please destiny is a function of time we have time that is allocated and for some reason for various reasons we don't seem to achieve certain things that we should achieve in time so god made provision for two mysteries to remedy that constraint one is called restoration the second is called speed these these twofold mysteries were designed to make sure no matter what happens in time eventually you will find expression we are going to pray these two things it says and i will restore years the first restoration you need is not things i will restore years number two the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran on barefoot and he overtook the chariots of ahab even down to jezreel you are going to declare restoration and you are going to declare speed my goodness imagine what happens to you when restoration and speed together work in your life are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the spirit of grace that my life is experiencing restoration my life is experiencing speed lift your voice and begin to pray speed speed oh i will overtake i assure you go ahead pray speed 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 in my destiny speed in my life speed in ministry 10 years in one year 10 years in one year speed in business when the reaper overtakes the sower a dimension of speed please believe what you are praying there is grace here believe what you are praying these are not empty words believe what you are praying you are programming spiritual realities i assure you in the name of jesus restoration by the god of wonders restoration in the name of jesus and the fortunes of job were restored to him the fortunes of job were restored to him declare speed over your life Lord, give me speed. Give me speed. Give me speed. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Two more prayers. Ah! Calibran da Gato Siata. Esther chapter 6. Esther chapter 6. Something is about to happen to someone. Esther chapter 6 from verse 1. Please give it to us. On that night could not the king sleep and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles and they were read before the king verse 2 and it was found written that mordecai that joshua selman had done something before and had not been rewarded that night it was recorded in heaven that you have been faithfully serving as a pastor but your reward is yet to come it was recorded in heaven that you served your boss or your master faithfully isn't it amazing that sometimes you can serve sincerely and men can forget joseph served the wine presser when he got to the palace he forgot him for two years 
He added two years of pain. Men can forget what God remembers. Keep that scripture there. The Bible says, two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, they sought to slay the king. Verse 3. The king said, what honor and dignity had been done to Mordecai for this? Listen to me. There are times in our lives where we give our best some of us have served people for years some of us raised many children they are in privileged positions today and by some kind of demonic thing the devil turned their minds and their hearts some of them are our own biological children there are people that walk the length and the breadth of this city and you will hear their story that they raise people there are lecturers that raise senators today raise people but it looks like no one is remembering them something is about to happen are you ready the bible says what honor and what dignity had been done for mordecai then the king's servant that ministered to him said there is nothing that has been done i hope you know it was not only mordecai whose acts were recorded there but when God is ready to lift you, He will single you out. You are about to pray. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare that the book of remembrance be opened over me, my family, my destiny, and every reward you have preordained, I command it to appear in my life. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Father, for the things that I have done for your kingdom, I gave to the work of the Lord for the things that I have done for your kingdom. Let the book of remembrance be open. Please pray. Let the book of remembrance be open. Listen to me. God is almighty. But the way he lifts men and the way he honors men and the way he shows up for men is through the ministry of men. Listen carefully. God is almighty, but he has so chosen according to his predetermined counsel that he will need a man to help lift men. We are going to pray and provoke by the God of wonders, the ministry of destiny help us. Listen to me. There's no time but there are four dimensions of destiny helpers that if they do not show up in your life, believe me, you will never rise. Not in this life. I assure you. I wish I had time, I would have shown you from scripture. But very quickly, number one, the first kind or type of persons, destiny helpers that must show up in your life, they are called divine connectors. I trust that God will grant us another platform to explain them in detail. Divine connectors do not have what you need, but they know who has it. And they can connect you to that person. An example was the slave girl. She did not have the ability to heal. But if the king did not pay at, if Naaman, the Bible says Naaman in 2 Kings 5, was the captain of the Syrian army. He said he was a valiant man in war, but he was leprous. And yet in his house, there was a little slave girl who had the power to link him to the anointing that will set him free. The key to receiving from destiny helpers is discernment. Because they will come in a fashion that is not easily acceptable. You must trust God for discernment. Someone can be selling a newspaper in a park. And that newspaper can carry the advert for your job. You need to discern that this guy was a newspaper seller but there is an angel moving him to me you need discernment number two very quickly you need men of influence there are times that you don't need divine connectors you need the men of influence themselves the protocol of lifting is that you have to be initiated by those who are there already there are times you have the grace and the gift but you don't have a voice yet at the palace you will need someone who is already there to speak for you politicians understand this unbelievers understand this but christians do not understand this oh joseph you can be gifted but you will remain there until someone introduces you to the king and until the king sends for you even though you are called of god you will still remain in the prison men of influence 
You're a man of God here, please pray. No matter how anointed you are, you need these kinds of people. Men of influence, economic influence, sociological influence. We live in evil times where people can get up and take advantage of your limitation. Men of influence. Number three, you need gifted people. There are times you just need to get the job done. And it takes more than sincerity to get the job done. You need gifted people. Gifted people. Gifted people. From the protocol to your worship team and everyone. It is a grace. I'm sharing it with you so that you covet it. It does not just happen. These graces are like magnets. They call the people to come. You don't look for them. You won't find them. If you find them, they will come with a side effect. The grace purifies. It knows the kind of people that it calls to you. Gifted people. There are corporations that waste money on so many people because they are not gifted. They are loyal, but they are not gifted. The last group of destiny helpers you need are burden bearers. No matter who you are, times will come in your life where you don't just need gifted people. You don't need men of influence. You need people who can cry with you. People like Naomi was to Ruth. I mean like Ruth was to Naomi. You need people who need more than your talent. You need people who, who want more than... I'm telling you, what betides a man who does not find a help and a support at your downtimes? Not everybody is self-centered. Not everybody is selfish. There are people who genuinely love you and they will not only rise with you, they will die with you. You need to pray those kinds of people. We are about to pray it now. Because you see, the pandemic has almost reset everything again. And you will need this group of people to lift you fast. So while the divine connectors are speaking to you about... Speaking to people about what you carry. The men of influence are using their track record and their, cre their credibility to stabilize your stay. Gifted people are there making things happen. And burden bearers are there. They are the intercessors. They are the people who are not looking for your gifts at all. They are there to protect you. If these four sets of people show up in your life, there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to keep you. Are you ready to pray? So that when you call forth destiny helpers, that the God of wonders should show up for you. First, that God will make you one of such kind of people. First, you can't pray for something that you are not willing to give to. Make me a divine connector. Make me a person of influence. A gifted person and more importantly a burden bearer and then you can now pray it are we together listen as some of you are praying this prayer can I tell you this whilst God is sending your own help God will be revealing to you what you are and to who you are God can be speaking to you and say from today whilst you are praying you become a burden bearer listen make sure that whilst we are praying you are discerning discerning Ministry becomes hard without these combinations. There are people who have that grace, but there are blessed people all around the city, but the spirit of grace has not apportioned them to someone. Can I tell you this? Truly speaking, there are no greedy people. The word greed is a relative word. Because someone who will refuse to bless you will pursue another person and say, take. It depends on the grace that is on your head. Are you ready to pray? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that I receive the ministry of destiny helpers. Lift your voice and begin to mention them. Please call them to your life. You are a worker, a member in this church. Call them in greater measures in this church. I call divine connectors. Show up in my life. I call men of influence. Appear in the name of Jesus. I call on gifted people. Show up in the name of Jesus. I call on burden bearers. Show up in the name of Jesus. Are you praying? Ali Baratos Kanabakatoshiata. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, listen. I'm about to spend the time I have left. I know that many of us have come with hunger. We are going to pray. 
and ask the Lord to give you an encounter within these minutes to visit you. Can I tell you this? Sincerely, I admit to you that every challenge is relative. It's relative to the grace that confronts it. An age-long captivity can melt overnight. I'm hearing a horn. Really, sincerely, sir. I'm hearing like a horn, like a shofar blowing. This is what I'm hearing in my spirit. And you see, in the Bible, every time a shofar blows, is announcing a new season. I'm, I'm telling you this. Believe what I'm saying. This is a prophetic word. I stand by the spirit of grace. And I'm telling you that a new season, a new season, the Bible says for us to minister according to the measure of grace. I'm hearing a horn. It's a new season, a season of signs, a season of wonders, a season of visibility, even by the spirit of grace. I'm about to pray. There are some of you who are trusting God for infirmities in your body. You see, I hope you don't mistake in what I'm doing for pride. This is an election of grace. It's the privilege of God's grace. Sir, would you be embarrassed if I talk to you? I'm seeing a door that has been closed for the last 10 years being opened again to you. This is what I'm seeing. A door. What do you have to do with music? I'm seeing a door. This was closed by witchcraft for over 10 years. And the Lord is saying, here, yeah, I'm opening it again. This is what I'm seeing. You will never be the same You've touched His grace Your life must change You will never be the same You've touched His grace Celebrate the God of wonders Mighty things are about to happen here Prophesy to yourself now. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life has changed. Hallelujah. Who is grace? Grace, come. In the name of Jesus. I shift you into a new dimension in the spirit. Are you married? Are you married? Where's your husband? At home. Where is home? At home in Abuja. In Abuja here. Tell your husband the month of March is a month of breakthrough for you. Both of you. God is about. I'm seeing this man cry. There has been help, please. There has been constraints. But God Himself is giving you a visitation. Even by the Spirit of God. Listen, I prophesy to you. I don't care what it is that has held you down. I stand by the God of heaven. Here in the name of Jesus. Every obstacle that stands between you and the next level. I clear it out of the way. In the name of Jesus. I clear it out of the way. I'm hearing a name Martha. Martha. Please help me guys volume. Martha. Who is Martha? I'm hearing a name, Martha. We have to be very, very fast. Martha. This is the name that the Lord is giving me. I want to pray for that person right now. That every plague of darkness, every plague of darkness. Are we together? So we are not teaching some cunningly devised fables or some acts of the flesh. No, we are people who by the grace of God, I assure you that if it's the God of heaven, you will be surprised. I'm about to pray a very serious prayer. There are people today, as it is, there is nothing in your hand. But I give you one month from today, by the God that I serve, honestly, if God be God, you will marvel and wonder at what happens a month from now. You will stand on this altar in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray a prayer and i want you to bring those people out there is a grace that god wants to reveal in this meeting exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 
please give it to us and then we pray exodus chapter 3 let your hearts be open please be prayerful don't be distracted help us media please read with me if you can see ready read and i will give joshua selman favor in the sight of the egyptians and the proof is that it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty i want to pray there is a grace that is coming upon people and this grace is for strange dimensions of favor god wants to shift people some of you are representing businesses and families are we together now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare help me with the symbol please please can you just teach him let him know what to do in the name of jesus right now i declare father even as you have revealed to me i'm seeing the number 28 28 people the hand of god is coming upon them you are drinking of that grace for favor some of you is in answer to the prayers of your loved ones they prayed for a long time that god should bring them into that dimension right now in the name of jesus and at the count of three may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace take that grace take that grace bring them out take that grace help them please please whether you are an usher or not my goodness my goodness please help them take that grace in the name of jesus we release favor we release favor we release favor open your mouth and begin to pray as they come out open your mouth begin to decree favor in the name of jesus please bring them out favor kali katos favor by the supernatural hand of god bring them out we're praying now i don't know how i'm going to pray this prayer please this is the prayer that will, i will plead with you to be your brother's keeper because i'm about to release the grace for speed oh yes sir there is a real grace for speed and when i pray that grace the power of god will come on people and some of them will begin to run that's why i'm saying you have to be your brother's keeper so that we don't make this place rowdy lift your hands father in the name of jesus i want you to bring those people out there are men and women there are destinies and families that must plunge into this grace for speed god of wonders i pray that at the count of three may that mantle and that grace come upon people are you ready now one two three take that grace take that grace speed please help them help them speed speed to your life speed to your destiny help this man please hallelujah that every planting that is not of the lord over the life and the family of anyone it must give way now lift your hands father in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven and i decree and declare right now at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and as you shout that name loud inside and outside online every force of darkness capacitire tying anyone's destiny down that has found that you will not rise is about to let you go now are you ready now one two three shout jesus right now i command those powers be gone right now release your destinies now bring them out please release your destinies right now in the name of jesus christ i set on fire every altar that is not of god yokes of darkness i declare be released now please bring them out be released now by the fire of the holy ghost be released right now i'm seeing a, a there is a grace that is coming on women i'm seeing chains people who have been bound i stretch my hands i'm seeing the number 13 i don't know where you are but right now i stretch my hands in the name of jesus 
at the count of three may that fire come upon you please bring them out one two three take that fire right now take that fire every altar of darkness tying your destiny it must let you go now it must let you go now hold mama carefully bring her out now listen you are standing you are standing for families there are some of you listen to me you are not just please don't come out at random those under the anointing just bring those under the anointing in the name of jesus christ there are families here that are under all kinds of yokes my goodness i'm telling you i'm just seeing like 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 light just coming on people i'm stretching my hands right now please help me help this guy let him know what to do huh in the name of jesus christ at the count of three there is such massive deliverance going on right now one two three take that grace right now the chains that have held you down there are people who cannot move forward you've been in abuja for years and it looks like there are forces holding you down i declare be released now be released now be released now by the power of the holy ghost bring them out be released now in the name of jesus blessing blessing who is blessing i'm hearing the name blessing you are wearing black with a black face mask all black all black is there someone like that blessing it's time for your life to change i stretch my hands right now change in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of grace bring them out fire is burning in this place in the name of jesus fire is burning in this place i set every altar please connect please connect be serious i set every altar all of you who are in front here the spirits that oppress you at the count of three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm seeing the mantle for the prophetic i'm seeing the number 14 please just give me strings it's going to come on 14 people i'm seeing some of you have prayed some of you have fasted you have seen it in dreams and visions the prophetic is real i know that there are abuses and the rest but please don't confuse that there are people who can step into this grace i want to stretch my hands father I do not know where they are across the length and the breadth of this auditorium but there are people you are preordained to be in this meeting that must drink of this wine my god i'm seeing an eagle there it goes in the name of jesus at the count of three may that grace and that man to fall like a tornado upon your life are you ready one two three take that grace help them help them help that gentleman i activate that prophetic the eyes that see the ears that hear help this pastor my goodness in the name of jesus step into levels of fire in the name of jesus step into levels of fire bring them out drink of that prophetic well spring of all wells in the name of jesus hear me in this season deborah's are rising there are women of power women of grace i'm about to release that grace where are deborah share the word of the lord i bring a clarion call by the spirit at the count of three may that man to locate you right now one two three take that grace fire upon your life fire upon your ministry fire upon the borders fire upon the borders fire take that grace two of you this this pastor take that grace take that grace you and your wife take that grace in the name of jesus Senas Kali Bari Hato Sena. 
Emprakete katoska ne malahasa. Shayendes kemene katoska bra. Atelas kabane katos gengera. Shabrende dos kembari katos. The Spirit of the Lord is saying, I'm revealing my glory in a new dimension. Your eyes will see it. I'm revealing my glory in a new dimension. Your eyes will see it. I'm still, I don't know why God is still saying to speak over women. There are people you are returning back to the realm of prophetic dreams where you will see things before they happen. I stretch my hands. Take that grace right now. 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 Hallelujah. Madam, this woman with green, yes, lift your hands. Is, are you husband and wife, sir? Lift your hands, both of you. I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on both of you. I'm stretching my hands. Take that grace, both of you. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God, drink of this grace. Step into new dimensions in the spirit. Help them. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. By the Spirit of the living God. Now, hear me. Every door that has refused to open. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you now. For as long as it is a door standing before you, and it has refused to open, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. And in the name of Jesus, I speak to that door. Ephata, be open, hidden, tita. Ephata, be open, hidden, tita. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Declare that door opens. The door of my influence, the door of grace. Are you praying? Open your mouth and begin to pray. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I decree and declare grace upon your prayer life in the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 4. And verse 18 says having their understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them I pray that spiritual ignorance dries up from your life in the name of Jesus I declare Colossians 1 verse 9 upon your life that you'll be filled with the knowledge of his will you'll be filled with all wisdom and you'll be filled with spiritual understanding in the name of Jesus Christ The Bible says, and I will restore the years. Everything you have lost in time. Please believe this one. I stand again in agreement. And we declare over you and over the nations. In the name of Jesus, the grace that brings restoration. Drink of that grace. Drink of that grace. Supernatural restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every man, woman of God here present and those connecting online that you desire in your life, you desire in your ministry. I stand in faith and I declare that grace comes upon you now. That grace comes upon you now. That grace begins to speak over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. All those in politics and government, I decree and declare by the Spirit of God. We separate you and we declare step into new levels of achievement. In the name of Jesus, I speak over captains of industry. Hear the word of the Lord. I decree and declare that in this season where many are saying there is a casting down. For you hear your prophecy. Let there be a rising up. In the name of Jesus. It was James in chapter 2 and verse 26 who declared that for a spirit without a body without a spirit is dead. Your business is only a body. There is a spirit that must give it life. I declare the spirit that powers 
the bodies, the vessels, the projects, the businesses that excel in the name of Jesus Christ. May that grace rest upon you. Can we declare over your finances? There are different levels of wealth. And the prophetic dimension comes as an advantage. A system of advantage in this kingdom. You have your products and your services that you offer. And that's wonderful. You have your value that you provide. But much more than that, there has to be a supernatural backing that pushes you forward. Are we together now? It says, there were many widows in Zarephath, but to none was Elijah sent. In the name of Jesus, I stand again with the angels over this house. And I declare over your finances in a very strange way. For the Bible declares, believe the Lord your God, so shall you be established. It says, believe his prophet, so shall you prosper. Step into strange seasons of abundance. Seasons of opportunity. Seasons of abundance. In the name of Jesus. If there is anyone here that the spirit of death is hovering around you, hovering around your family, please hear this. Because we, are, we live in seasons where someone can just say, headache, my head, my head, and just fall down and die. Someone shout, no way. In the name of Jesus, I speak over your life. I declare that anyone here who is being appointed unto death, by reason of the death passes over you in the name of Jesus Christ you will not be a victim of kidnapping you will not be a victim of accident you will not be a victim of plane crash you will not be a victim of the wickedness of men a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side we prophesy that none will harm you with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked may this be your heritage in the name of Jesus Let me pray for families here. Psalm 112. It says, Blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. He said, His seed shall be mighty upon earth. Then it says, The generation of the upright shall be blessed, that wealth and riches will be in his house, and yet his righteousness endures forever. I declare, we pray for our children. May they be mighty in the name of Jesus. Listen. This spirit in Africa that makes children, even though grown, that they have to depend on parents to still feed them in old age. We stand by the grace of God. Every young person here who is, is, is responsible and should be employed or should be engaged, I declare we push you by prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for those who are in the music ministry. In the name of Jesus, I use this wonderful man of God who ministered. What an amazing vessel you are. In the name that is above all names, I declare, I use him as a point of where's the gentleman? He's not here. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God bless you, my dear one. You will step into unprecedented dimensions of grace. In the name of Jesus. And I use him as a point of contact. Anyone here who is in the music ministry, genuine worshiper and you've not gained the kind of visibility that allows you to be a blessing and to be rewarded in the name of jesus we tear the veil and we announce you i release a hear ye him anointing upon you in the name of jesus find visibility we multiply your influence by the spirit in the name of jesus let me pray a prayer that God is putting in my heart. I hope you don't see it as carnal. There are people here. The grace for territory is not yet on you. You've been in this city for a long time. But it looks like you have not gotten your own place. I want to shift you by prophecy. Standing in partnership with the man of God. You should not be in this city for long in a place of good and abundance and your portion has not been given to you. And they dug a well and the Philistines covered it. They dug another one, they covered it. Then they dug the third one and they left them. They called it Rehoboth. He said, God has given me my own space. I prophesy to someone in the name that is above all names. Between now and the end of this year, have your own space. I give you your own portion in this city, in this land. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Hallelujah. I want you to pray and knock on the door of heaven. Your heart is already right with God, I know that. But I want you to agree with God and say, Lord, between now, can you give me a reason to praise your name this year? I tell you if, you, if you obey this instruction and pray with your heart, you will be surprised what my God will do. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, I agree with you. Sapata. Open strange doors. 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 Do it for your glory. Surprise my father. Surprise my mother. Surprise them. I intercede for them. May the angel of your presence reach them. Give them a miracle. Let that cancer be healed. Let that HIV be healed. Let that barrenness be broken. Let that take me. Having a child already in a womb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone shout his self time in the name of Jesus. I decree that every force in the heavenly programmed a time to stop results from manifesting in my life to discourage my Christian life. I challenge you by the blood of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Ancestral powers, yokes, spirits, ordinances, written in the heavenly, projected by witchcraft and wickedness to stop my life from glorifying God, to stop results from happening in my life. I challenge you. I challenge you. I challenge you by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. Let's take one more prayer point. I want us to release the ministry of angels. Listen. The Bible says, Are they not ministering spirits? Let me tell you, hear me. Angels are real. I see them all the time. You will be foolish to believe angels are not real. Not everybody here seated physically in Koinonia is a human being. I have seen them many times as I preach. They sit down like human beings. They are not human beings. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. See, some of you are still joking. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I am an heir of salvation. Therefore, I decree and I deploy the ministry of angels to every area of my life to war and warfare until I become victorious. Lift your voice and pray. I release your ministry. Release my helpers to come into my destiny. Release favor. I release angels. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Over Koinonia. The angels are signed. Over Koinonia. We release you by the word of God. The angels are signed. Over God's people. We release you. We release you. We release you. We release you. In the name of Jesus. Bring miracles. Bring signs. Bring wonders. Hallelujah. We're 
out of time, but let's pray. The Holy Ghost is asking me that we challenge the spirit of fear. Look at me. Listen. Let me tell you something about the spirit of fear. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. Listen. Fear is a dangerous spirit. It stops you from taking God seriously. When God speaks, fear exposes you to the obvious limitations. It's not that they are not there. The obstacles are there. But God's word does not explain. It creates. God will not tell you how by next week you will be holding a million in your hand. Don't be stupid and say, God, how will it happen? Who do I know? Blessed is he that believes. He said, for unto her there shall be a performance. Fear of death. Listen. Fear of failure. Fear of not having the money to feed yourself. Do you know it's fear that makes people do all kinds of foolish things? You are afraid before you know it, you sell your phone because you want 10,000 in your pocket. The 10,000 finishes, you sell your trouser. People sell all kinds of things. People have converted and have left God because of fear. In the name of Jesus, I challenge the spirit of fear over my life over my family over my loved ones over koinonia I declare in the name of Jesus you are banished from my life forever lift your voice and pray there's no fear there's no fear I refuse to fear stay unto the righteous it shall be well stay unto the righteous koinonia you pray tonight don't look around, pray. Say unto the righteous, it shall be well. Say unto the righteous, it shall be well. Say of marriage, say of children. Say of terrorism. Them in the name of Jesus, Father, every prophecy you spoke over my life that has not happened, I want you to know that I still believe you and I agree with you. I must receive that testimony. Lift your voice and pray. I wrestle with prophecy. I agree. I agree. You said you will heal my father. I still believe. You said you will heal my mother. I still believe. You said you will prosper my business, prosper my ministry. I still believe. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. When you dare to believe God and understand what it takes to get the results you need, I pray for you in the name that is above all names. First and foremost, even as you are prayed, I challenge every force of witchcraft that has been released over Nigeria, released over states to frustrate believers and make it look like God's word is not working. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. Number two, I pray for you. The kind of speed that you have not seen from God. I ask the God that I serve to give you that speed in the name of Jesus. That 
that she will perform his word hastily. Hastily. In the name of Jesus. Number three. I pray for you with all my heart. Every secret you have been looking at but you have never really understood. You look at it all the time. But you, are, you listen to the messages. Help them please. For you have not gotten it. I speak upon your spirit. May an unction kaparatokaya. The unction that teaches men things. I'm, I'm doing an impartation upon your spirit. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. May that light shine upon your spirit. May that light, that illumination shine upon your spirit. Any man on earth who is holding your answer, any physical man holding your answer, I put pressure upon their spirit. They must answer you. They must answer your parents. They must answer your loved ones. I pray for you. Every miracle we have received as a ministry this year whether it is in finances whether it is in increase whether it is in influence and impact i pray for you from the depth of my heart beginning from this night i don't care how short the time is i decree and i ask the lord most high to reproduce that testimony in your life may he reproduce that testimony in your life Anyone here, hold on please, who is sick in any part of your body, any nonsense the devil has planted, whether you call it fibroid, whether you call it menstrual pain, whether you say barrenness, impotency, whether you call it migraine, SS, AS, bad dreams, witchcraft, any kind of sickness. Right now as I stand here In the name that is above all names May the fire of the Holy Ghost Touch through your body And clear that devil out of your life May the fire of the Holy Ghost Touch through, help them please May the fire of the Holy Ghost My God, I tell you I see fire falling on people That's what I see in the spirit Fire, people are getting healed May the fire of the Holy Ghost touch through your body and clear that devil right now. May the fire of the Holy Ghost, I say it again, standing upon this grace. May the fire of the Holy Ghost touch through your body and clean your blood and cleanse your life. Anyone here called SS? AS, I command that genotype change now. Any stranger you were not born with, if you were not born with it, breast lump, fibroid, ovarian cyst, any devil sitting on your body, your body must glorify God tonight. Therefore, I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. Everything that has stopped you from being productive, I prophesy to your hands. Your hands represent they are symbolic of your productivity. When the hands of Samson were tied, he could not do anything. I pray for this hand. May God teach you the mystery of prophecy in the name of Jesus. He said, I am the Lord that teaches thy hands to profit and leadest thou in the way that thou should go. May God show you the mysteries. May He show you in the name of Jesus. Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. I pray 
for your spiritual life. The kind of encounter that you have not had from January till now. Strange encounters, revelations of heaven. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then why? Hey, and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then why? Every wall that stands before you and the next dimension I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho I command every wall go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to, the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter, I compel favor from them to you. I compel favor from them to you. In the name of Jesus. There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous, not more favored, more honorable. Many people do not know what honor is. The fortitude for preference. There is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd, places you in a position where the eyes of men must disarm you, reward you, recognize that which God has invested within you. Listen to me. There are many gifted people. The eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. Listen, it's a way to fight battles without reward. David said, what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath? Sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward. I pray for you. May the Lord position your destiny helpers and cause them to love you and to honor you. The Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. 
I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning. Leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you before this year is over. Step into a dimension of prepared blessing. Prepared blessing. Prepared parush salata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life, may that grace rest upon you now. Prepared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month, I release that grace upon you. Listen, these graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No, they are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of